Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm the host, World Breaker Coup, and today we're looking at G.I. Joe Classified Croc Master. Um, I brought in a couple of the Crocs too. This is a Croc from the Jurassic World line. So you can see it's quite big. Um, so we'll get him out of there because it's not part of the review. Just wanted you to see that. Uh, cool character. Uh, he's not the star of this set, of course. Everybody and their mom has been highlighting this cool gator. And I must say, it is a very cool gator. But we'll start with Croc Master himself. He looks very good. Nice face breather picture. He can take his little uh, rebreather thing out. You can put it back in there. And then you got this in the back that pegs in nicely. So you got the belt, nice shiny belt. He comes with the whip. He comes with the pistol that also has a hole. I do like how the pistol has a gator uh, like handle. So that's nice. This looks very basic though in bland. I wish it would have added a wash to it. The front of this belt looks awesome, although mine has a scratch there. Um, he has a hook that could do some uh, plastic. Uh, everything else on here looks really good. Different colors, the back, it's it's a great figure. Um, it's pretty, well, I mean, besides a couple of bland areas here and there, because again, there are some, some definite bland areas uh, on the feet that do detract. Last but not least, he comes with this, which is fairly poorly executed because it does not really fit around the Croc's head like it should. So, doesn't go very far down. Okay. Now, speaking of the Crocs, let's look at the Crocs um, accessories. She's got one of her babies right there. Albino Croc. And a regular Croc. There we go. He gets more too. Nice little, again, nice design on these guys too. I can just hear that sound. And then the, the star of the show, which is this gal right here, the Croc. Let's get him out of the way because he keeps on trying to steal the, the focus on my camera. And this guy looks amazing. Look at that paint work. And I've seen some people paint even better online. I'm not that guy. I can't do that. But it looks really, really 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 good and it's one of those things unless you are actually touching this you can't really feel and appreciate how nice it is and yes there is bitty wire in the tail which is nice it's harder at the fatter areas but it feels so nice and look i'm just squeezing here and i love that i love that this is just a really really nice figure i wish the elbows did have some joints so it can crawl more like a gator and extend its elbows a little bit more but that's okay I still think it looks great. Nice articulated jaw. I mean, you really can't beat this. Out of all the animal friends, between the eagle and the the wolf, and then the panther that we had not too long ago from the uh, Dungeons and Dragons, this is my favorite one they've done so far. It just looks so nice. So, yeah, I think Croc Master is a hit for me. I do recommend him. If I was scoring him out of 10, I would give Croc Master a 9. Um, he's a nice figure. And just one more comparison for some future characters coming up. Here is Croc Master next to, let's zoom out a little bit. Nope, zoom in. Next to Killer Croc. So, yeah. Killer Croc is a big boy. Look at that. And I will be reviewing this guy soon. So, I guess it's just the... The year the crock for me, you know. Got that guy. Then you put this guy in there. Man. Woo! Looking nice. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace and chicken grease.